you want to stream Sea of Thieves on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, or Mixer, or anything you want, uh, this tutorial is for you, and I'll teach you today how to stream Sea of Thieves using OBS. I'm searching for the lost and found, but you don't care. Now first things first, uh, welcome to the channel. I do a live stream and make YouTube content on Rocket League and Sea of Thieves. So if you guys want to check me out, make sure to drop a subscription below and go check out my Twitch and drop me a follow if you enjoy watching some live streams. But without further ado, let's get to the video. So first of all, you need to download OBS Studio. And there are different versions out there. There's just OBS and there's also Streamlabs OBS. But I'll be going through OBS Studio today since it is the easiest one to show you. And uh, there's still a few issues with Streamlabs OBS even though it's the current one. Uh, so I'm just going to show OBS and uh, hopefully you guys uh, can follow along. First of all, what you want to do is open up a Chrome tab or any Explorer at all. I'm using Google Chrome. And at the top, search OBS Studio. And once you get it, click on the top link which says Open Broadcast to Software Download. This is what you use to stream, or you can even use it to record. I'm using it to record right now, and I'll also show you guys how it works. Uh, but click Open Broadcast to Software at the top of the screen. And uh, then you need to choose your operating system here. Obviously, I'm Windows, and uh, you'll want to download the installer for this. So click this, and it will download. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And uh, let's leave that to download and I'll show you what to do next. Now once it's downloaded, you will have the OBS Studio full installer right here. Uh, and what you want to do is, is you want to right click it, click run as administrator and uh, get it to run basically. Well, here you go. You got the setup. OBS Studio 21.1 as it is right now set up. Uh, click next. And uh, as you can see, I've already got OBS running and I can't install it. But make sure you just follow everything in the steps to install it. I actually didn't know myself that you, I can't open it while I've already got it running because I, I did a video before on Rocket League and it actually worked. So just install this and you'll have OBS. Now you will have these scenes like I do here, look at me. Yeah. Uh, you have the scenes like this, uh, you have to set them up yourself. So what you want to do is down here on scenes, create a new scene. And just call it whatever you want, what you're going to use to stream. Uh, and then the main focus is going to be the sources here, what we're going to talk about. First of all, let's get to the settings uh, of OBS, and this is what you want to use to stream. And I'm guessing everyone that's clicked on this video know that they have a good enough computer to live stream. They know that they've got good enough bitrate to live stream, so hopefully um, it's going to work for you guys. If not, it's probably a, a hardware issue on your computer. It probably won't be able to live stream CFUs at the same time as uh, playing it yourself, or maybe your internet isn't good enough to upload enough uh, bandwidth to the servers. But anyway, first of all, we've got here, we've got the settings, scene, uh, settings window, sorry, here. And uh, nothing really needs to be changed here. It's just, you can either have the theme dark or you can have the theme acri, which looks like that. It looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, you have the default one, which is white and it's too bright in my opinion. It's really, really bright. Uh, and you have Raki, but it looks like this. I think it's a colorblind people. I'm not really too sure. It looks really weird though. But I just like it dark, you know. Keep it simple. Now the next options we want to go to is stream here. And this is where you're determining where you're going to live stream from. So I'll talk about Twitch. I live stream on Twitch, so I'm going to explain everything about Twitch. Uh, so you go to stream services here. Uh, you can also do custom ones as well. I've not really used that before though. As you can see, you can do YouTube, you can do Mixer, uh, Daily Motion, Facebook. You can do everything. Twitter and Periscope as well. But as I said, I use Twitch, so I'm going to explain how to do it on Twitch here. And uh, so you want to choose a server. Do the server near you, uh, for me it's London since I live in the north of England. Uh, and then your stream key, and I can only show this for Twitch because I only live stream on Twitch. Uh, so I'll show you how to get this right now. So what you want to do is, if you're a Twitch streamer, go to twitch.tv slash your username slash dashboard. And you'll be led to your Twitch dashboard. And this is my dashboard for when I live stream, twitch.tv slash Uh Go to... I think it's settings here. It says settings and it says channel. Click it. And you'll take, you get taken to your channel settings. Scroll down. You will see stream preferences and it says stream key. And I'm not going to click it because I don't want you guys to see my stream key. Basically, you click this here. Uh, also, I recommend storing past broadcasts if you haven't already got it clicked. Um, if you click the stream key here, it'll show you your stream key. And basically, you go back to OBS and you paste it into there, and you can show it if uh, you really want to. 
Next is the output, and this is where you determine how you're going to live stream and uh, how it's going to work. So, video bitrate is dependent on your upload speed. So if it's a good upload speed, then you want it around 3000, 2500. Bad upload speed will be like 1500. It's dependent on what your upload speed is. Um, I recommend 3000 if it's if you start dropping frames, drop it down to 2500. If you're still dropping frames, like like lower it down by 500 every single time. But I normally stream, or I don't use this to stream anymore, like I said, so that's why the value is wrong. But I normally use 3500 or 3000. Uh, encoder, you can either choose your graphics card or your CPU to stream. Uh, software is your CPU, and hardware is your graphics card. And I recommend using your CPU. However, your graphics card will let you send less data. So basically you have to up your bitrate more, but will make your computer less laggy. Um, just I mess around with it. You might not even have to have the option to use hardware. I didn't on my old AMD graphics card, so uh, you'll have to see that. I use software. Keep the audio bitrate the same. You can even go in here. If your stream's like choppy or very pixelated, you can mess around with the, the encoder preset here. Uh, basically, slower means that it will render more, I think. And it'll make this stream look good, but it uses a lot more video bitrate. But uh, mess around with these to see if you can get that to work as well. If you don't want it at all, just turn off Enable Advanced Encoder Settings. Uh, if you're recording, it'll show you where you record to. Um, if you're ever going to record it using OBS, by the way, Change recording format to an MP4. It will originally be in a FLV, I think, and it's impossible to open. I think it's FLV, uh, so change that and uh, put recording quality to in indistinguishable quality. Uh, audio, just keep it the same, like this. You might want to add a push to talk. Make sure like all your uh, audio settings are set correctly. Now, uh, this is the most crucial part. And if you got a bad internet or anything, just you, you're having a little bit of issues. Uh, what you want is have the base canvas resolution what your screen is in front of you. So for me, it's a 920 by 1080 screen. And then if you're live streaming, as I'm recording, I've got this 120 by 1080 because obviously I just want a full scale resolution image. But when I'm streaming, I have to set this to 920 by 1080. Uh, 920 by 1080? No. You need to set it to 1280 by 720. I've just read it there and just... You need it 1280 by 720 if you're live streaming. So you're sending a 720p quality to Twitch. And uh, this is to lower... Uh, have a good quality stream while having a low amount of... Um, I guess bitrate being sent up to the servers. Uh, and then if your internet is good enough as well and your computer is good enough, you can also set your FPS of your live stream to 60 if you want. But uh, remember, if you're having issues with your internet or rendering with your computer or anything, set your output scale resolution to 1280 by 720. And if you've just got all the hotkeys, you can set these up if you want. And then in advanced, uh, there's nothing here either. So that's basically everything with the settings. If you have done everything correct and when you click uh, start streaming, it will work. But first, we got to add Sea of Thieves and make sure we can see Sea of Thieves. So I'm going to load up Sea of Thieves in the background now. Uh, you will see it on the live stream slightly. Uh, live stream on the the recording. Because you can see my background and it's how I set it up so you can see my background. So you're going to see Sea of Thieves loading. Let's just go back to OBS quickly. Uh, so like I said before, as I started, make sure you have a scene set up here. Here I've got it called desktop. That's me streaming from my desktop. And there's one of two ways you can do this. First of all, if you've got a camera, you want to add a video capture device like I've done here. And what you, to add sources, what you do is, is you click the plus here, you can add a bunch of things. And uh, video capture device is down here, you can set up your camera and everything, uh, so you can get that to work. Uh, as you can see as well, I've also got an image here, which actually triggers my like overlay around my camera. So if you want an overlay, you got to add an image and uh, you can buy or find a bunch of them for free online if you want to have a starting uh, overlay. Uh, so to record the game, what you want to do is, is go into here and click Game Capture. And in this option here, just call it something like Sea of Thieves. And then you get this property list. And what you want to do is, where's this mode? Click Capture a specific window. I've seen a few running in the background and it will find it. Uh, click window here 
and click srtgame.exe see if it is. As you can see, voila, all is going to happen. And then we'll go back again. We'll put it at the bottom. I have to put it at the bottom because otherwise you're not going to see it happening. Uh, unless I move it up to the top as you just saw then, then you can see the game. And uh, it goes by order. So as you can see, now I'm back on my screen again. If I go back to my display capture, you basically put Sea of Thieves underneath. You have to image, like your overlay and your video ca uh, capture device. So as you can see, look where I'm about to move it. Boom. We're here. And you just got to order them. Uh, other things as well, such as alerts and all that lot. Um, if you go to streamlabs.com, uh, there are tutorials everywhere on how to set this sort of stuff up. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully that will help you guys stream Sea of Thieves. And hopefully it's going to help you guys get to live streaming and providing some content to the Twitch community, YouTube community, Facebook community, whatever you're live streaming to. Uh, but apart from that, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy Sea of Thieves content and Rocket League content yourself, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. Thumbs up, comment any issues you've got down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.